Hello again YouTube, it is I, your faithful reviewer of manga, Rob Rinno, with Laputa, Castle in the Sky. So, what does it say? Uh, apparently, it's a joy to watch, says the New York Times. Hayao Miyazaki's distinct visual style has made him the envy of American animators, the LA Times, and from the creators of Spirited Away. Orphan Pazu, who is the boy on the left, his life is changed when one day the beautiful Sheeta... Yes, I said cheetah, I didn't swear. There you go. Literally falls out of the sky. Round her neck she wears a glowing ethereal crystal. I'll explain about that in a second. A relic of the mighty levitation stones that once kept the ancient cities floating in the air. Caught up in a race between sky pirates and sinister government agents, Pazu and Sheeta must go in search of Laputa, the last of the fabled castle, castles in the sky. Featuring the voices of Anna Paquin. So if you can't remember her, she played uh, Rogue in X-Men. And she was in another film. I can't remember. It was about some about soldiers. I only saw it once, so I can't remember that one. Um, James Van Der Beek, who is Dawson from Dawson's Creek, if I'm right. And Luke Skywalker himself, Mark Hamill. Now, as you can see from the cover, these are the Sky Pirates fly, flying the uh, the Tiger Moth. Okay. Um, again, I watched this when it was on Film 4 on the old channel on the TV. Kind of caught it by accident. And I watched about, I kind of saw the last half of it. And I, won, you know, I wonder what it was like, so I went and bought it on um, Play.com. Very good website, I do like it. And it's actually a very good film. Again, it's actually this one is a PG parental guidance needed. Ooh. But I don't think there is. There's no need for it. This could very easily be a U rated film. Yeah, it's not really got anything horrible in it. I mean, okay, it has got that. Let's see if you can see it. That's a giant robot that that lives on um Laputa. When they get it right, the crystal. It's called an ethereal crystal. I don't know where the name comes from, but the idea being is that it creates its own gravity field. So, come on. It creates its own gravity field, hence the reason why Laputa is able to fly. Also, it's kind of like having... I think the best way to explain it is, imagine having the power of nuclear fusion without any problems. And it won't kind of kill everyone by blowing up or anything it just crumbles and yeah that's basically it but it kind of um recycles its energy so it won't run out really it's kind of that um mark hamill actually plays the bad guy he's a guy named muska who wants who's actually an ancient descendant of the royal bloodline from Laputa and so is Sheeta. So effectively that makes them kind of cousins, but you know, fighting for the uh position of who's gonna run Laputa, but she doesn't really want it. She but she finds out how dangerous he is. Again, I'm gonna put the uh description, the uh, link to it in the comments bar below. Please give me your thoughts on this if you've watched it. Now I have yesterday I heard that there was a new um, Miyazaki film coming out. I don't know if it's in pre-production or anything, but it's about the um, the zero plane, and it's about how the guy who invented it wanted to build a plane, and he was obsessed with flight. Uh, I only heard about this one yesterday, so if anyone can tell, shed any light on that one, let me know. My next one is going to be Princess Mononoke, then Tales from Earthsea, and then Megazone 23, and I've only, as of What's today? Sunday. Uh, Thursday just gone. Gone hold of Skullduggery Part Eight. Last of the Dead Men. I've only just started reading it, so I'm going to be a while on that one because I've got other bits to get on with at the moment. Um, but I will be reviewing that, and then I'm going to do a little uh, how-to. It's called How to Clone Yourself. I'm going to leave it at that. Okay. I'll keep you interested. Yes, you are interested. You know you want to. Right. I will see you next week. Tara.